Hi. So I have started using the Valka lead again, and I actually really like it. But before I get into my opinion, let's look at the features this cube has. Along with traditional corner to edge magnets, the Valkalite has a new magnetic positioning system. The twin magnetic positioning system uses magnets in the center caps and in the edges to create a stronger adjustable magnetic field. This cube comes with three different sets of center caps. One is red, which is the strongest magnet. One's clear, which is medium. And one is green, which has no magnets, which of course is the lightest. It also comes with three sets of springs that have the same color coordination with green being the lightest, clear being medium strength, and red being the strongest. The performance of this cube is great. It can corner cut basically everything and it's pretty stable as well. The feel of this cube is a nice mix between crunchy and smooth and the magnets give a very satisfying bump. And of course, finally, the most important feature are these amazing picture cards, bro. See, look at that. So, so pretty, man. So amazing. Who doesn't want a picture of Matt's Valk? I know, I, I'm gonna keep this one for myself. It's, I love Matt's Valk. I really like this cube. I find it really satisfying and refreshing and you know, it's, it's something different. You know, it's different from what the cubes that we have nowadays. Of course, this is what, like three years old, but I say it's still really good. So as you can see, I used the cube on the strongest center caps, which is red and clear springs, which is medium strength. This setup makes the cube pretty controllable and it's also still speedy. So I can, so I can turn up my fastest if I want to. I also use an angstrom setup, which I actually really like in this cube. I think it works very well. I'm not a very fast turner, so I tend to rely on my look ahead, and the Valk Elite helps me do that because of its controllability. Think of it like this. The Valk Elite is kind of like the manual mode on a camera. This mode allows you to have full control of your camera. As long as you know what you're doing, your picture will come out exactly the way you wanted it. Other cubes like the GAN 12 are like auto mode. This mode will automatically set all your settings for you, kind of like how the 12 finishes turns for you. These auto mode cubes are getting really good to the point that they are just as viable as normal manual mode cubes. The GAN 11 and Pro is actually my backup main. <laughs> I just like the Valk Elite more right now and it shows in my solves. I am getting consistent good times with this cube, so why shouldn't I use it? Now, would I recommend this cube? Nah, not really. Um. <laughs> I would tell you to get the Tornado V2 or the Worm 2021 instead, just because I feel like those would appeal to more people, a broader audience, if that makes sense. But I do know that there will be people that will absolutely love this cube, you know, like me. So if you want to try this cube and if you're willing to pay $45 for it, which I believe is too much, but I'm not going to talk about that today, then I say go ahead, you know, who knows, you might love it. All right, thank you guys for watching, and of course, as always, love you, bye!